Professor Dave and Chegg here. As we learn organic chemistry, we will be utilizing different theories of chemical bonding. In particular, with reference to covalent bonding, valence bond theory will be important to understand. So let's go over some of this information now. According to valence bond theory, two atoms will participate in a covalent bond when they approach one another and a singly occupied orbital on one atom overlaps with a singly occupied orbital on the other atom, such that the two electrons are paired in the overlapping orbitals and can thus be attracted to the nuclei of both atoms. So with this theory, covalent bonding is all about orbital overlap, whether these are atomic orbitals or hybrid atomic orbitals. The simplest example would be a hydrogen molecule, where the two hydrogen atoms allow their 1s orbitals to overlap, and the two electrons will exist in this overlapping region, bonding the atoms together. This kind of direct orbital overlap results in a sigma bond. As a result of the orbital overlap in the case of H2, 436 kilojoules per mole are released as the system goes to a lower potential energy by virtue of the increased interaction, which is stabilizing. This represents the bond strength for this particular type of bond, or the energy that would have to be provided by the surroundings to break this covalent interaction. We have likely seen a graphic like this before, depicting the intranuclear distance between two hydrogen atoms versus potential energy. Starting from the right, if hydrogen atoms are far away from each other, they are not interacting, so potential energy approaches zero. But as they get closer, it dips down in the negative direction, all the way until the orbitals begin to overlap. But if they get too close, the positively charged nuclei will repel one another, and potential energy sharply increases, like trying to push together two magnets of like charge. Thus, there is an ideal internuclear distance that allows for a minimization of potential energy, and that will be the ideal covalent bond length for two hydrogen atoms, which happens to be 74 picometers. Valence bond theory is the primary lens with which we will examine bonding in organic molecules. This means that we should be able to discuss the overlap of atomic orbitals and hybrid atomic orbitals with ease, as this concept will be relevant for most of the other concepts we discuss in organic chemistry. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.